All right, still going for this. This is episode 34. Hold Majin Buu in check. Limit Super Saiyan 3. So we finally get to see Super Saiyan 3, which I think he did it beforehand somewhere else as well. Yeah, and I do remember this one as well, but I really want to see when the kids, Trunks and Goten, see it for themselves. Anyways, Trunks is truly upset because, well, Bobby said, if you're not going to be there, oh, sure, why not? If you're not going to be there and you're not at your freaking house, I'm going to blow up the whole entire city. And, well, Goten actually apologizes for what's going to go down. Boma is concerned because her parents stayed. It's like, Boma, you tried your best getting your parents up here. Your parents are like, oh, get, no, we're going to stay with our animals. We love our animals. Freak our lives. You can wish us back. It's like, yeah, again, they're, they, I can see where the, the reason why I don't like you, I can see where it came from. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can see where it came from. Anyways, Goku knows and he's like, well, the Dragon Balls will be able to help. And Boma's like, what about? the cities the cities will be destroyed as well and sadly piccolo actually corrects him and say well there's only one wish left he all that what he did with the first wish it took two wishes so there's only one wish left so goku actually kind of tries to make up something where it's like okay i wish everything was back the way it was and piccolo said that could be possible for it to work and bowman's like oh i didn't bring the dragon radar hold the freak up you hurt the plan the plan is actually going to use the dragon balls later and you're telling me you didn't bring back the dragon radar i mean you're supposed to be the smart person and shut up you're supposed to be the smart person and you're telling me you forgot to bring the dragon radar really i would have loved it if it was on purpose it was i mean by accident it was by accident I won't have anything to say to this, but it wasn't by accident. You said you did not bring it. And I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Really? Really? The plan was to use Dragon Radar. Anything could happen. I mean, it's not like, oh, well, my parents will be okay. They're staying down there. No, no. Your parents actually will sacrifice their lives for a damn animals. It's a good idea to grab whatever you can just in case that place is destroyed. And you're telling me you forgot the dragon radar. What the fuck? Anyway, Trunks actually has to get the dragon radar now. New plan. Trunks get the dragon radar. Goku has to go downstairs down there to Boo and Bobbity and distract them long enough for Trunks to get the dragon radar, come back, and then Goku leaves as well. Because Boma is a stupid idiot. I'm sorry for those who are fans of Boma. I know you're going to flag this. You're going to thumbs this down and good for you and all. But you got to admit, though, Boma's a bit stupid right here. I mean, I get it. Yeah, fourth wall breaker. Yes, it brings the anime and gives another storyline. Another thing to do for like a few episodes. But still, this shows that Boma is a complete idiot. I mean, what the fuck? I would prefer someone's like, yeah, it would be cool if the Dragon Radar wasn't there. It's like, oh, the Dragon Radar, I got it right here. You did bring it. It was actually in the thing. It's like, it would be cool where she just completely is a dumbass airhead. And all this was the, well, of course, it would make Boma even look even worse than what she is right now. Anyways, Boma is being a mom saying, oh, Trunks, be careful out there. I can't do this. Sorry, Boma, shut the hell up. Next is Goten, and he's like, I know you could do it, Trunks, and that was cool. And Trunks kind of doubts Goku a little bit, saying, well, if my dad couldn't stop him, what makes he think he could actually do some damage? So anyways, Trunks goes. Goku has to go comfort Boma, saying, well, he is your son, and plus he's Vegeta's son. He'll be fine. And Goku and Goten has a moment. He's like, good son. That was beautiful. And he teleports. Goku teleports and Bobbity, my gosh, he insults Boo too damn much. I mean, of course, you'll see why. He, and the funny part is that in the video game, yeah, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, you don't really see him actually saying any insults to Boo at all. And Boo is just like, die, you dummy! And he kills him, just straight up kills him. <laughs> oh, man. Well, he did insult him, but it's because, well, 
Boo wasn't speaking. And it's like, well, he, I don't know. Either way, in the anime right here, it's like, well, it makes sense why Boo will freaking backstab you considering you insult him every single time and treat him like a freaking damn peasant. Well, you should have treated him like a freaking damn um, pit bull, you know? Or you should treat him like a very valuable asset and not insult him, not anything. If you want to do whatever he wants, try to eventually lure him to actually do something good, which Hercules shows you how to do it. Anyways, whatever. Uh, so Boo is having some fun breaking and <laughs> crashing into freaking buildings. Goku is there now and, well, Bobbity is like, oh, I have to thank you, Goku. You're the reason why Boo is here today. And, well, they talk a little bit more, and Goku actually warns him, saying, well, a storm is coming. The three people you're looking for is going to come after you. As soon as they do, they're going to be able to beat down and destroy Boo. And Bobbity decides it was kind of funny in the beginning part where he's like, oh, I'm going to broadcast this. It's most likely going to be funny as hell. So they do tell him about this. They laugh, saying, oh, really? The three... And he did try to say, how about you stop doing destruction, wait a bit, and they're going to come down there to see you. And he's like, no, not that's not going to happen. Anyways, Goku is now going against Boo. Goku tries to get Boo to mutiny, saying, you shouldn't be talking to you like that. I mean, really? It's, it's really messed up the way you're, he's talking to you. And it's kind of funny how they had a moment, Boo and Bowdy had a moment and eventually Boo is like, if you seal me up, you die. <laughs> Damn. And Goten actually can sense Goku's power. Trunks can sense it too. He's amazed at what is going on here. It's like, it's just like my dad. He's at that level. And apparently there's a power higher than Super Saiyan 2, which of course it's not really a spoiler. We already been knew about that. So yeah, Piccolo is what is like, what are you planning, Goku? What exactly are you planning here? Now we get a moment of Hercule. Unlike what's going on with Victor and Monty and freaking Power Rangers Ninja Steel, screw them both. At least it'll be a fresh tank of water to actually see what's going on with Hercule, even though some people don't like Hercule as a character. I kind of think it was a nice touch to actually show that Hercule is still around and it's a good idea to show where he is. So Hercule is trying to give hope to his fans, and he's saying, I'm going to go train so I can beat down Boo. And he does freak out a little bit, saying, oh, crap, what if Boo overheard that? And he's like, what I'm going to do is just say, I'm training. Come back later if he ever comes. And he's like, wow, damn. And meanwhile, we're back to where Goku is going against them, and Bobbity makes a joke about, oh, I got to do is just put on a wig, and I'll become Super Bobbity. It's like, oh, wow, damn. And Boo is happy to fight him. And Goku is thinking of himself as like, man, I got to have to make sure I, I got to make sure I give Trunks a long time enough to actually be able to pull everything off. And Piccolo actually senses the battle. The others do too. Trunks, I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why the hell did you stop? Keep going, your freaking damn house. What the fuck is going on? It's like, why the hell did you just stop, Trunks? And it is most likely his mother's freaking side. Because I know if Vegeta had that mission, Vegeta would continue on. And Vegeta would sense and be like, he can multitask. What the freak is going on with Trunks being just... Anyways, I'm like, Trunks, go, you idiot. Stop your damn questioning and go. And Goku even had to yell. And I'm like, damn. Bobbity just heard about something about the radar, and now, oh, fuck. And Bobbity knows something is freaking him, something's going on. And I'm like, Chunks, you damn fool. But anyways, yeah, Bobbity talks with Goku, and Goku has to pace himself. So he decides to do a little bit of a performance and a lesson, slash a lesson. And it's kind of funny how Bobbity's like, oh, that's just window dressing. Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2. He can, and I'm like, yeah, I can't really tell the difference between them both either way. It's like, yeah, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just stupid. I don't know. Anyways, Piccolo is like, what in the world is going on here? And Krillin is like, man, and you're, you, you're bluffing, right? You're bluffing. You have something powerful than that, right? You're bluffing. And Roshi is like, well, you have been busy. And everyone's truly is like, whoa, during this, is, he's just powering up and whoa. And Goku is going for it. He's trying to get Super Saiyan 3, and King Kai is like, no, it'll burn too much of your life. 
Yeah, so apparently his time or his life is kind of wrapped around Super Saiyan 3, meaning that he'll have to leave earlier than planned, which is like, how does that even work? Okay, whatever. Anyways, the city is affected from his power up. Windows are shattering. The electric, the electronics is acting a little bit wacky. And sadly, Trunks stops again. Oh my gosh! But he starts again. He start. He continues on after like a short second. Freaking damn it, Trunks. Anyways, King Kai is like, stop! Don't do this! Stop! Stop! And of course, in Dragon Ball Z fashion. They are delaying the freaking transformation, but I do have to admit, it is quite beautiful to behold. So Piccolo is shocked. Z fighters are just wowed by this. Hercule is feeling it. Tien and Chao Tzu is now seen, and they're feeling it as well. And, and Tien knows it's Goku, and it really is a sight to behold. The only messed up part is the cutaway stuff, where it's like, oh, we're showing you what Hercule feels. Oh, we see what the Z fighters feel. Oh, we see what Trunks feels. Oh, we see what Tien feels. It's like, put it all in one freaking sequence, I think it would actually be a good one to behold. But anyways, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Bobby is like, ah! And Super Saiyan 3 has been tapped in. Piccolo, Tiet, I mean, Piccolo, Goten, and Trunks are all shocked by this. And Goku says that this is his favorite level of them all. And Z Fighters are shocked. As well as this freaking transformation. They're freaking shocked. Gohan can even sense it. Supreme Kai is like, yes, this is your dad. Because Gohan's like, really? This is my dad? It seems like my dad, but it's pretty weird. And Kabito's like, how the hell are we feeling it from right here in our beloved planet? And, well, it's freaking damn powerful. So, Boo is pleased. Bobby is a little bit angry. Boo mentions the fact of, oh, I'm not going to be intimidated by your scary face, even though it changed and now it's scarier. <laughs> and Bobby agrees. He's like, yeah, my imbecile friend over here got a point. And Goku actually has no choice but to fight a little bit, thanks to Trunks being a little bit delayed. Thanks, you idiot. And Goku actually fights for a bit. It was pretty cool. He did some instant transmission punches and... <clears throat> Krillin, Goten, Roots, and of course, mid while they were trying to say, oh, we're going to conclude this, but here, while we're concluding it, there's freaking Boo actually shooting up a, a blast, I think it might have been from his mouth, trying to hit Goku, but it missed. So there we go. Now, the interesting part about this is like, okay, we're going to go into Dragon Ball Super territory. We have yet to have seen Super Saiyan 3 in Dragon Ball Super. It's kind of like, <clears throat> excuse me, Super Saiyan 3 has been forgotten or it's too riskier to do, which I'm like, how is it too risky to do? I mean, you're now doing Blue Super Saiyan and Blue Super Saiyan maxed out with Kaioken or Super Saiyan, Blue Super Saiyan Kaioken times 10. And it's like, how exactly is it really risky to see Super Saiyan 3? Even though I do have to admit, I think we did see Super Saiyan 3 when it came to Resurrection of Frieza. I think we did see it, but we don't really see Goku actually fighting it much. I know it takes lots of energy. I understand that. But it's kind of weird how we just skip to freaking Blue Super Saiyan without actually being like, oh, well, Goku can actually now stand Super Saiyan 3. It, it's really a mind boggler here. It really is. So Super Saiyan 3 is very cool. I do have to admit the face, his face of Super Saiyan 3. Why the hell does it look different? That's the weirdest part of them all. It's like, why in the world does his face have to look completely different from what it looked like in Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 1 in normal form? That's pretty damn weird. But I can't wait to actually see Dragon Ball Super because I still have to catch up on that too because of my source, but I don't do videos like that anymore. Technically, I think I might have to. But anyways, thank you for watching, folks, and stay tuned for another Thoughts on Dragon Ball Z Kai to Final Chapters.